Hello and welcome, my name is Romney and I'm the founder of Global Self Publishing. What I want to do in this video is to help you out with the formatting side of BookBolt Studio. Previously it used to be called BookBolt Designer, but BookBolt Studio is taken over, so I want to be able to show you some of the formatting uh, methods that you can use on the platform. Some of you might be a little bit uh, anxious about how to use it, so I intend to be able to show you the right way of using it, how to download your documents in a PDF format so you're right to go with Amazon KDP. Now, one of the best things about using BookBolt Studio is that you will not get rejections from Amazon KDP if you follow the right methods. It's one of the key reasons that I've been using BookBolt because I was just so frustrated with getting rejections and having to add different trim or add 0.125 to your trim size that I'd get those rejections from Amazon. It was just so frustrating. So the BookBolt Studio will significantly help now, you can also create interiors using BookBolt Studio, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to do the cover. Now, if you're interested in purchasing BookBolt and you don't have the software, then you can check my link out below and that will get you 20% off the purchase price. So that will help you uh, if you're using that link. So let's get into the tutorial. Let's show you how to use BookBolt Studio to ensure that your cover is formatted correctly and ready to be uploaded to Amazon KDP and even Ingram Spark if you intend to do that as well. Let's get into it right now. So, welcome to the BookBolt dashboard. Uh, or the initial uh, website, I am assuming many of you might have used BookBolt before, but if you haven't, then you can scroll down and have a look at the different options that, uh, or the different tools that BookBolt do offer. The pricing wise, because you can do puzzle books, activity books, coloring books, and different low content interiors. But if you're looking for the price of BookBolt, then you've got a yearly or a monthly. So on the yearly plan, you can pay $89.99 for the Pro, $199.99, $200. And you can also pay monthly as well. Now, if you're doing this, you do get the Cover Interior Designer, which we're looking at using. And if you're wanting to do puzzle books, those sorts of things, then uh, you need to get the monthly Pro, which is the puzzle creation software, which is included. But we're just focusing on BookBolt Studio for your cover formatting in this session. So let me log in right now and we'll get to the main dashboard and I'll show you where you need to go. So once you're on the platform, you'll need to go up to the top area here and just click on the little uh, icon. Go down to BookBolt Studio. This will now log you into the BookBolt Studio and you might want to create a project as part of this. So I'm going to create a project and I'm going to call it, we'll call it Camping and Caravan Book as an example. So we create our project. Then we are asked for what kind of project we're going to do. I'm just going to do the cover today and project name, we'll repeat that. The trim size, I will be using an 8.5 by 11. So you've got quite a few different trim sizes to choose from, and you can also do a custom size. Let's just do 8.5 by 11, which is the book that I'm creating. I am doing black and white interior with white paper. You can choose cream paper, standard color, and premium. Now it is important to choose the right choice because paper thickness comes into play here and book bolt needs to ensure that your spine width is going to be the right width for your number of pages so i'm choosing black and white and the page count is going to be 90 pages so i create the project right here so book bolt will now provide me with the template what we want to do is upload our images you've got the different icons down the side here so if you were doing an interior, you could choose the puzzles and uh, different interiors there. You can do the free pro only, just depending on what you're doing. You can also do 
uh, different uh, icons. You can add all these as part of your cover if you're doing that. But what I tend to do, you, you can create your own book cover using BookBolt with the images, with everything you want to from scratch. What I prefer to do is create my cover or in Canva, and then I save it as a PNG or a JPEG file. Then what I do is upload it to BookBolt. Now, why wouldn't I just format the cover in Canva? Well, it would require me to go and grab the calculations, ensure that the spine width is perfect, that I've got the template completely done. And yes, you can do that. If you didn't want to have BookBolt and do that, then that's fine. Go ahead and do that. But for me, I just want to ensure that I'm not getting any rejections. It's a waste of my time. I don't want to have to go back and change things in Canva. I'd rather something like BookBolt convert everything for me and it's ready to go. So what I'm doing here, I go to the little icons. Now this is if I've got a, an existing image. I go to upload image and I've already got my uh, files ready to go. So I would choose my front cover to start with. Remember, you can design your own cover in BookBolt, but I'm choosing to use an existing image. I'm going to go and get the back page image or the back cover image, and we're going to put this in here as well. So I'll just wait for this to load up. Now, I'm going to choose that first front cover image. So this is showing it's going to be an 8.5 by 11 paperback, and it'll place it right in the middle here. Now, what I want to do is to stretch it to, so those black lines that run across the top here, I'm going to stretch it to those points right there. And you can see there's a pink boundary, or they call it red area here. What I'm going to do in a moment is change that. So with the template, you can use this button here to change the opacity level. So you can see how it disappears altogether. So if you don't want that there, you don't have to have it. I like to leave it there for the moment. And it's important to leave a space when you're doing your cover for your barcode as well. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go click OK. We're going to go back and get my back page. It'll probably load it right here. It does. So I'm going to slide it across. And again, I want to drag it and I want to do it so that it lines up with those black lines right there. And you'll see why I'm going to do that in a moment. So you can zoom this up by using your mouse. So you want to make sure that you're getting everything in the right place. I'm going to stretch this a bit more right there. So now it should be almost on the lines. doesn't matter if it's slightly a bit over. If you want to on your back cover, you can increase it all the way, depending on what color you're using. If your front cover and your back cover, for example, in this one, it's a yellow border, then you can leave that gap because you don't want a space if you're going to do what I'm about to do in a moment. So what I'm doing is getting it all the way to the edge. I can zoom up, just double check that that's all set to go. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to change or I'm going to get rid of the back template. So we click on the outside. I want to have the template disappeared or hide cover. And I want the background paper color to be the same as this trim here. Now this is automatically coming up. If I wanted to find out what that color was, I use my pipette and I hover it over right there. And then it will put the template in that color all the way around. So you can see that I've now got a thicker yellow border and I've also got the brown background as long as I don't have, remember right behind here, I've got my um, ISBN, which is right there. So I wanna make sure that that's in place and I wanna make sure I get that color again and I wanna make sure that I get rid of the, the template. So the ISBN rule will be right there. I need to have that gap right there. and I'm also ensuring that I've got my writing within these lines. So you can see this line that runs around the middle or the inside here, that green line. I need to ensure that my writing is inside that line. So what we now do 
we go to uh, download and what we want to do is download it so you can do download current project or download current page so if you're doing interior as well you do the project what I'm doing is the current page we're just doing the front cover so what we do is click there it's now checking it's doing it in the right file format and what it will create for me is a PDF file and it's allowing the correct width right in the spine and I'm going to click here and I'm going to check it out so you can see the cover and how it's turning out so we're going to reduce this and everything is perfect so when it goes into KDP that's the kind of book that will, that's how it's going to turn out now let me just quickly go and see if I can find this this book exactly to show you what the end result will look like so I've actually got an example of the book right here so that's what the front cover will turn out to be like and if I position it correctly you can see how it comes out perfectly when you're doing the right formatting using book bolt design, oh, sorry book bolt studio what we'll do is close that up what you need to do is obviously uh, copy and save that and place that in your folder so when it comes to the time of uploading your book to Amazon KDP you've got your file ready to go so I'm just going to cancel right there if you want to change different elements you can do that you can change the project you've got your different projects you can rename it I've got my camping caravan book right here you've got the cover and you've got the downloads you've got um, you can export it to a PNG file if you wanted to but remember when you are uploading your book to Amazon and Ingram Spark it needs to be in a uh, PDF format so that uh, the um, file type is recognized and you get the best quality because it sort of locks in all the details that you need uh, so they're the main details for book bolt studio as I said I use it mainly because it just gets rid of the issues of the formatting process and the any rejections as well I've never ever had an issue with a cover being rejected if I use book bolt because the main thing I had problems with was getting the middle spine width correct particularly if you're using it for uh, with with color and the thickness you just want to get that right and this will just save you so many hours of issues with having to deal with rejections from KDP so I hope that that really helps you uh, there's different things you can learn here with the with the uh, learning side of things you've got different settings you can change all these up as well grid lines you can lock lines in object snap is when if you've I'll show you if you've got your your picture here and you can see it sort of snap that place in right there so the green line that can all be enacted by it and you've also got different object settings and things too I really hope that helps thank you so much um, and we'll just finish off with a quick little outro so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial ensure that if you have liked the video to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel also if you're looking for great resources on how to publish with Amazon KDP you can check out my website at globalselfpublishing.com but I've also got a number of best-selling courses on udemy.com and you can also find a number of them on skillshare.com as well so thank you so much for watching and I look forward to sharing with you more information in the future till then goodbye